Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am CoreyPierce100 and welcome to career mode. 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 This is my Liverpool career mode. Um, it's an another video, as you, know, as you probably saw I uploaded a video yesterday. Um, you know what I realized? Yes, this uh, you say after the video, I didn't send out any youth academy guys. I didn't purchase any, so I'm going to buy this guy's is Slovakian. Well, yeah, yeah. no, 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 I don't want this guy out. Oh, this guy wants to sell you, Raven. Okay, and. Ooh, oh, I can't afford the Australian for nine million. And wait, 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 I hate how it takes the money out of the um out of the transfer budget so you have less money to spend on players. So that really puts a lot of pressure on these scouts to get a lot get some good players. You no? Know? Is it very bright or is it very dark? Oh no. It looks very dark to me. Hey Buzz, I'm looking at them. The laptop because it's showing me what it's recording. It, it looks very bright. It looks brighter. Hang on a second. No, not the nothing. It just make my screen look brighter. Ah, oh well. Um, we'll we'll see what happens as it goes on. Anyway, last time I figured out that um almost all my center backs gone. I even thought I lost Daniel Iger, but apparently I don't pay attention to my own team because he was there all the time. If he was company uh, hyper extended his knee. And is out for a few. Is out for seven days, but he does not. And Jamie Carrier asked to play in this match against here today against Gillingham, and I will oblige. I will play him as well as, as well as Rafa. So he will be in center back position with Rafa Alvaran. Moran. <laughs> Some more young players. Oops. Eric Lamella, Shirari, Striker, and we're going to have Sterling on the left. Oh, it's changing and always switching and always coming up with new ideas and new lineups. 
I'm pretty happy with this lineup, actually. It's one of my better youthful lineups. I have Rodrigo and Erickson on the bench, so I can make a midfield substitution and a substitution and a forward position later in the game, should I need two. So, it'll probably be Suso who goes off from the midfield, and it might be Raheem Sterling who goes off from the the striker position, but you know, that'll be around the 70th minute. I always wait till around the 70th minute to sub off those to make my substitution because I feel Because I feel um, that the uh, players are that bit more tired and they've contributed that extra bit. Everyone says always to wait till the 60th minute. I find that doing it on the uh, 70th minute or maybe 65th, 50th. I don't need to make a substitution earlier as if the player is like super tired or if he picked up an injury. Or if that player is on a yellow card, I think I may accidentally get him sent off because I do. Okay, I will occasionally get the odd accidental send red card because I do. You know, I make rash tackles sometimes when I get frustrated, but. Yeah, you know, that's very rare in a career mode. That's more, you know. Red cards would be more for you ult for ultimate team. I was you. <laughs> uh, but really, I, I don't. I can't remember the last time I per got a red card in career mode. Although, if you saw yesterday's video, I it, history was made in that video. I I can see in my first goal from open play and it was the Everton player for Leon Osman and it was a decent enough goal you know as goals goes decent enough you know I definitely think my keeper could have done better but then uh, you know what what can you do? sorry about this freaking is freaking threatening to die on me again. Yeah, I'm, I've already used it a lot today for my uh, Saints Row video, which will be going up about the same time as this goes up, so keep an eye out for it because I'm gonna set it to upload both at the same time. I know that probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but, you know, I can do that, so I will. <laughs> I was gonna, I was hoping to get the, uh, Saints Row video up by 6 o'clock, but, uh, that obviously is not gonna happen. Raheem Sterling has a crack in the deflection, takes it up for a corner. The reason that's not going to happen is because it's past 6 o'clock now, as I'm playing this. Uh, so, unless I can miraculously, um, oh, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down! I know that was a bit rash. Alright. Oh shit. Ah, oh, come on.
La mer en bas, la mer en bas. C'est ça. Oh! Rat! Rat! Did the keeper not? I assume the referee's gonna make the. Oh, good save. Suso with the corner again. Goal! Steven Salary. Be considered an embarrassment if I don't beat Gillingham, considering they're two leagues below me. I think is is are Gillingham in League Two or in League One? I know they're not in the Championship. They were in the Championship, but they got relegated. Where are Gillingham? Is it League One or is it League Two? I think they're doing well in the league they're in, unless I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, Lamella, what the five stars? Oh, <laughs> that was just. Sneaky on no Sereri part. The header from Raheem Sterling. And perhaps the easiest to tap ins for Steven El Sereri's score. I don't know if the keeper got a touch on that or if he hit the crossbar on its own. But the point, but the um, fact of the matter is, El Sereri scored that goal and it is. Three nil. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Oh, yeah, exactly. Foul. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I've accidentally given them a, a corner. Oh, the bar. Oh, Eric Lamella makes it 4 0. Again. Goal, it's him all. And that is half time. Goal for Suso, 2 from Steven Alcherary. I want Eric Lamella. Me, I have a 4-0 lead. 
at half time. And apparently I've lost connection from the EA servers. Ah <laughs> go away. Arsenal score lines in the other matches. Arsenal are one 0 up against Blackburn, who if you remember beat Norwich. Nottingham Forest are one 0 down to Queen's Park Rangers. Holland Spurs are one also. So potential upside there. Holland holding their own. Steve Bruce's side, that's all. You know, that's who he is, but still got two one up on Burnley. And it's definitely Burnley, it's not Barnsley. And Sunderland and Middlesbrough are one all. Middlesbrough and Sunderland are from the same area in England, aren't they? They're both from Newcastle. Oh, aren't they? They're both from Newcastle. Hindsight? Does it burn them? I don't know. Anyway, it's one all. So another potential upset, because Middlesbrough are playing horrible in the championship this season. Tony Mowbray still their manager? I know I know he was their manager, is he still their manager? The you know Tony Mowbray, the former Celtic manager? Is that him? Is he still Mills first manager? I'm sure he's not. Otherwise they'd be having a very good season because he was a very, he's a very good manager. Oh go Rahim Sterling. Yeah. Bow. It's now 5 0. That's game over. No. There is no way back. <laughs> 5 0. I'll make it 6. Ares with his. First goal for Liverpool. And a beauty that it is. Boom. Struck into the back of the net. It is 6 0. Aris, the one of my newest sightings from the summer, scoring his first goal for Liverpool. So, his Liverpool career off to the start. Off to a good start. minutes and they've already they've made their first change on the 57th minute so I suppose that's close enough to 60 you know 33 away from it oh I hit the crossbar Arias, that's how you pronounce it. As I said, um, one of the commentators pronounce it. Um, it's um, Andy Townsend, that's who pronounces it, so thank you Mr. Townsend. Oh. 
At the jam, they're not giving up. Um, the seventh goal came from Suso, 67th minute. And uh, it's just past the 17th minute now, so uh, I guess up those substitutions. Um, bring on Christian Axon for Suso. I'm going to put Rodrigo in for Raheem Sterling and switch him out for the mid. And I'm going to bring on Sergio Ramos because. My right back, our right back is my uh, young right back is looking very tired for some reason. So Sergio Ramos is gonna come on. Ares and. Erickson's first touch is to take the corner. Carragher has a shot. Oh. Oh, the corner. And Rodrigo went down. I was like, penalty, no. Hmm. Adrian Rodrigo. Oh. Rodrigo again, goal. He's only on the pitch five minutes. It's just me dropping the controller. <laughs> Eight nil now. Rodrigo, after i be on the pitch for five minutes. And only like his third or fourth touch is on the score sheet. Ref? Really, Ref? Oh, what a goal from Adrian! Or is it Adrian? I think some people would call pronounce it Adrian. I'm gonna say Adrian. It's spelled differently, so I'm calling him Adrian. Some people might call him Adrian, but if you call him Adrian, it's absolutely wrong because I'm pretty sure Adrian has an I and E in it, doesn't it? Or is that another way of spelling it? I don't think there's two ways of spelling it. Then again, I don't know names. I ain't no names I hear. Rodrigo on the ball. Look at that. Look at that control. Look at this. Uh, he lost the ball, but... Oh, but Sergio Ramos with his first touch. Oh, Rodrigo. It was like he was celebrating and all. <laughs> Goal from Junjo Show in the last minute. I think that's 10? Yeah, it is. It's 10 0. Junjo Show in number 10. It's number 10. Oh, don't, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Clyde Tilsley just said they could probably get another one. I know I could, but probably you wouldn't be the best if I did. And that's the final whistle. Well, really, there's no great really surprise. No. Hello. Oh, fine.
Usual time, 10 to 4. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Right. Sorry about that. Just got a phone call. Arsenal got through comfortably. 3 0 against Blackburn. QPR, 1 0 draw with nothing on Forest. Going to a replay. That's pretty big. That's a bit of a shock. Spurs knocked out Hull 2-1, Stoke knocked out Burnley 3-1, and it was 2-1 to Sunderland over Millsborough. So... I'm looking forward to is the next match. It's perhaps the biggest rivalry in in all of England. Let's see. Thirty-seven titles between them. It's Liverpool versus Manchester United. I I always love facing Man United. It's because yeah, you just know. Oh, well, being that the. One of Liverpool's biggest rivals, who's of course there's Everton as well. Who, who they're gonna give you one hell of a game. Send that guy to France. Send you to Spain. Spain. Spain, and you know what? You can go to Italy. Yeah, Italy. I'm scouting Italy. And in three months, I'm going to send one of them to Portugal. So, yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> Won't it? You don't go to Portugal. <laughs> See what they can bring me back from Portugal. <laughs> Maybe they can find me the next Ronaldo. Who knows? I mean, I know that crest. Can't be who I think it is. Then, match for after.
99 in the Champions League. Is that what I think it is? Is that even that's carrying on for carrying on for Thistle? MSCT, the Scottish team. Is that them? It looks like they're crest. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like they're crest. Let's do this! May I have filled it all the big boys! Bring it, bitches! In goal they have Lindegaard, Raphael, oh, oh, Vidic, Mascherano and Evra at back. In midfield they have Valencia, Fletcher, and, and Kagawa, and Nani, and up front they have the two mean bad boys. Robin Van Persie and the man who could be going to PSG in summer, Wayne Rooney. And I, in goal I have Iga Casillas. At, in defence I have Sergio Ramos. Jamie Carragher, Daniel Agger, and Philip Lamb. In midfield, I have David Silva, Xavi Alonso, and the man himself, Steven Gerrard. And up front, perhaps the most menacing strike force in history, Luis Suarez, Sergio Aguero, and Edison Cavani. Let's do this. I say it's going to be tight, but another little fact for you. Since the begin, since I started career mode back on the PS2, any time I was in a career mode and I was Liverpool, or if I ever went anywhere else in England, in matches in Man United, I have never lost. To Man United, I have never lost to him. Never, it has never ever happened. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I always play the matches, but still, I never ever lost a match to Man United. No matter what uh, FIFA it was. And that streak has since continued on the PS3. And I know for a fact, if I got it, it would continue on the PS4. Anyone? Anyone else think the PS4 was just a big troll from Sony? I, I think that's what it is. Because... Just as I'm getting used to playing with the PS3, now they're bringing out the freaking PS4 and like saying, Ha ha! The newest thing out! Get mad! And I think they're bringing out a new Xbox as well. Of course, that's not Sony, that's um, Microsoft. Or whatever. I don't know. Is there another Xbox coming out? I think there is. Did it say who the referee is yet? I missed the who's that. It's very rare I see. Uh, Ian Lowcraft. Well, Ian, call the match down the middle, and I have no problems. Don't, don't screw me. Yeah. 
Everyone shaking hands. We're all friends until the f until the whistle blows. Then and it's unholy war. <laughs> Wait a minute. Man, you are not in the top ten. Why are you the only one who saw that? They're not the top ten. Where the hell are they? Granted, only five matches are gone. Still. Strange. See, Man United not off the mark yet. Well, not in the top ten at least. I don't know if they're off the mark as far as points go. Surely they must have at least one. So what position are they in? I expected them to be like second or third. Actually, no. I think about it. I think it's Spurs who are second. Oh, I would say from Lindergaard with his legs. Oh! I don't know if that was everyone or if it was a save from um, Lindergaard. I don't know. Who got that? Was that everyone's header clear or. Oh! Sergio Ramos says it doesn't freaking matter. <laughs> Boom! He almost broke the net. 1 0 Sergio Ramos with the goal. Get mad. Oh, oh shit. Van Percy. Oh, he's away. Stop him. And again, it was Ramos. Oh, Suarez was left runner, and Suarez won. And Suarez scored. Two nil second goal from Luis Suarez in the thirteenth minute, I think that is. Yep, thirteenth minute. Two nil in thirteen minutes. Oh giving it straight to a grow. Thank you, Macharan. That was a form of Player still thinks he plays one, <laughs> and it's Xavi Alonso who puts the ball in. I mean, we're well. I think it's safe to say my great history against Manchester United you know, of never losing to him is going to continue. Three 0 up in seventeen minutes. In under 20 minutes, we've already become only 20 minutes are gone, and you're already talking about giving people money of the match. Relax. What is wrong with the commentators in this game? They're always saying stupid things. Come here, Rooney. Come here, Van Percy. Oh, what's weird? Van Percy is unreal in real life. He's not that good in this game. I always find Rooney is better in FIFA. Even before uh, Van Percy joined Man I always found. Rooney to be the better player in, when it comes to FIFA's, but in real life it's the opposite way around. The uh, Van Persie is better than Rooney. Four nil goal from Edison Cavani on the twenty fifth or twenty sixth minute. It might have been the twenty seventh. I don't really know. I wasn't really paying attention. I was talking to you. <laughs> It doesn't matter, I'm, I'm winning 4 0.
Yeah, they want to have a funny story about my history with my AI. Alright. On the PS2, in, uh, it was FIFA. I think it was FIFA 08, or was it FIFA 07? It's FIFA 08. FIFA 08. Um. I was, um. It was near all. 45th minute, I conceded a penalty. And to make matters worse, the referee deemed the foul. It wasn't the worst of fouls, you know. But the referee deemed it a red card and sent my player off. Alright? He sent him off, right? Um, I think it was, who was it? Oh, it was Aga. It was Aga who got sent off. So, it was Rooney who we fouled. You know, yeah, most referees would have given at least the yellow. Actually, yeah, most of the yellow wasn't really red. I mean, even if if you know if you know I fan saw it, I mean, even you wouldn't have said, "Oh, that's not red." Anyway, so you know, normally not very good at saving penalties, and that was no different. Really scored it. So I'm thinking. Oh, this is my great record against Man United gone. Uh, Dav still just scored the, there, making it, is it 5 0? Yeah, 5 0. Anyway, back to the story. Um, you scored it, right? Yeah, I tried to score equalised before half time, but uh, I couldn't. It was 1 0 half time to Man United. It was a, uh, it was at uh, Old Trafford actually. So um, start second half. I have Torres. I'm, I'm running towards the goal with Torres in the sixty-fourth minute I think it was and Torres gets taken down and the referee awards another penalty so I'm thinking great this is my chance to equalize EVG up you come and uh it was Vidage I think it was or was it Fernand no it was Vidage who fouled Torres and the referee like he did for Aga in the first half showed a straight red card I'm thinking that's not a red card either I mean here was I my player was just fouled but I didn't think it was a red card but the referee for some reason deemed it a red card One of my friends was with me while I was playing the match, and he started saying, "This referee he is an absolute idiot. He's given a red, two red cards for fouls that weren't were barely worthy of yellow cards." Saying so that's the way FIFA goes sometimes, me right? as Cavani makes it. 6-0. Um, so I step up, I have a draw, I take the penalty, and I score it, I score it on, um, on the keeper, and it's 1-0. Then later in the game, um, I have corner. It's about the 79th minute. So yeah, it's very near the end of the game. And so like a corner right here. I have Joe take it and it gets headed out. Well, kind of like that. And it falls, well, unlike that, unlike that, it, that fell to Van Persie. But uh, in the game, in, in the match I'm talking about, it fell to, I think it was, um, I 
think it was um who was it? I think it was Alonso, I think it, yeah, it was, it was Alonso, it was Jerry Alonso. And he struck it like that. Except it wasn't the keeper who it hit. It was um it was Evra, it was Patrice Evra he hit him. Him in the arm. And the referee gave another penalty. I'm like was that handball? I guess it was, you know, the referee gave yeah, the penalty. And for some reason, it was a very rare occurrence that you... Uh, I saw a red card being blinded for a handball, but apparently, the referee apparently thought that was a blatant handball, and he sent Ever off as well. I was like, hey, that is a total accident. He had no control over that. It's just been blasted at him from... And God knows how many yards by Xabi Alonso. I just, I just gave him credit for even standing in the way, because we all know how hard Alonso, who, who, who shots are. I mean, they're freaking bullets. As Cavani scores again. Anyway, so I step up with the penalty. I'll just take it again. So you know what? Once, once, if he can do it once, he can do it again. This time, I the keeper saved it. He went the right way this time. <laughs> I didn't think he would cop on. But, uh, <laughs> My friends started laughing. But the ball falls to Fernando Torres, and he puts it in the back of the net. I was like, yeah, yes. And then the referee foul said there was a foul. Oh, I don't know, or was it offside? I don't know. But he gave another a free kick out. I was almost going to say he gave another something. Um, so that's pretty annoying, considering Torres had put the ball in the back. Then later in the mass, I'm, I'm facing now nine men, so I'm thinking, okay, I have to get on now. I'm facing a team with less players, even though I have ten. And then it was very late in the match, and uh, Jar had the ball, so I thought if I can beat the offside trap and get it to Torres, he could put he could put it in the back of the net, and I'd win. And I passed it to Torres, but the keeper saves it and he pushes it out, and um, it was turned in. It was. It was uh, it was put in in the end by um by the man on the ball right he now there he is Javi Alonso yeah he just popped up out of nowhere and just turned the ball in it was the a sixth minute I think it was um so I'm thinking yeah that's me that's the win but. Man United refused to give up, and for the last four minutes they were pushing and pushing and pushing. And it was like the 90th minute, and they had a corner, and um, the goalkeeper came up for it, you know, as you do. Probably thinking if he could score, that's a, at least that's a throw. But the ball got was cleared out. And it came to Steven Gerrard. I'm thinking, Steven Gerrard, no keeper on goal, he can't freaking miss. And, I was right, he didn't. And it went in. That was in the uh, 90th minute. And it ended. It ended 3-1. So, so, it was it was a good, it was an unreal game, actually. It was an absolutely unreal game. As is this, because I'm absolutely destroying Man United in this game. It's 9-0, and that was the David Silva in the 90th minute. Oh, 10-0, <laughs> Aguero. So it's 10-0 in the 90th minute. Uh, what I learned in that game is, referees are absolute idiots. He gave three red cards, two for fouls that... We're barely worthy of a yellow card. And one for 
an unintentional handball. I mean, you'd say something now if Ever just smacked the ball away, but it, it hit him. He didn't intend it to hit him. I'm sure. Yeah, he was facing the other way. He was actually facing towards the goal, and it hit his hand. He was, he was like, "What the hell?" As you can, uh, I will, and there goes the full time whistle. Far score is ten nil. Was it nine? Yeah, it was ten. <laughs> I lost count myself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, if there's anything to take away from that, is that never underestimate a referee. He will always find a way to screw you. You just have to hope that he'll make a mistake when it comes to something including your opponents. And maybe send off one of their players as well. So... So, there you go, that. Let's, you, you learn, you go away from this video a lot more wiser. And, I'm sure you got a few chuckles from that story. It, it, it made me laugh. <laughs> it, it, I got a few chuckles out of that for a few weeks. It still makes me laugh now. Oh, there's a big smile on my face right now. <laughs> uh, it was an absolutely unreal match. Apparently, Tobias Courtois wants to play against him, and that's kind of whistle. So, that was definitely the, that was definitely the weirdest match I've ever had against my United. You know, I've had matches against my United in FIFA before where players have been sent off. You know, in a rival, in a rivals match, it's, it's, it'd be, you know, it's kind of common to see at least one player sent off in a rivalry match, you know. You're in a rivalry match, sometimes you lose the head. head, And, you know, the players will lose their head and, you know, they'll, get them, so they'll do a super tackle and get themselves immediately sent off. to have three red cards in one match is that and have the game finished 3-1 that was absolutely incredible keep in mind this was years ago now oh but yeah I I still remember it as if it was yesterday. So tell me, have you ever had a match where... So leave in the comment section below, I want to know if you've ever had a match in FIFA career mode where you've had three players sent off. Or, m or maybe you've had more. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing those comments. <laughs> I'll just be happy to see any comments because simply no one wants to comment. <laughs> anyway, get on with the match. The uh, last match of this video against MS Cow, this all in the Champions League.
with a Scottish team. And it's a 2-1 win for Liverpool. Goals coming from Steven Gerrard and Edison Cavani. And McKay scored for Inverness. Even though... I don't know who that is. Although I don't really know who anyone from Inverness would be. Wow. I'm just going to read the top four for you and see if you believe this. Top, Liverpool, 15 points. Second, Everton, with 12 points. Third, Tottenham, with 11 points. Fourth, Chelsea, also with 11 points. Everton are second. And Man United are. Wait one second. Eleventh. Everyone else find that weird. Anyway. That was an eventful. You got you got the normal three matches and you got a cool story. This has been your boy who appears one hundred. I will see you all tomorrow. Please like, subscribe and peace.